Alright guys, we're going to do an um, unboxing of the uh, TP-Link Archer C9, um, or for those that know, the Tip-Link. Just kidding. Um, so yeah, ordered this on, online from Amazon a few days ago, and um, just got it in the mail. Replaced my uh, faulty wireless router. Um, so, and of course, as you well know, you got to use whatever you have at your disposal to uh, open stuff with. The keys happen to be it today. Um, cool. So, got the uh, retail packaging inside. A little slippery. So this is uh, the AC band, um, Wi-Fi band, the newest one as of uh, mid-2015. Um, retail box looks great. And, uh, nice colors, good feel to it. Wrapped in plastic. So let's yank that plastic off there. Here. Wow, it's a little bigger than I uh, anticipated it being. Um, also, that's what she said, and uh, yeah, that's a uh, that's nice though. So you got your um, you got your router here, obviously power cord, obviously. Just a standard power adapter. Got some instructions here, which uh, nobody will ever read. Um, looks like a resource CD, um, a little Ethernet cable, uh, which is nice. I didn't know, did not know it was coming with that. Um, and then your three antennas, and uh, I believe these antennas just. In onto this router. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Good looking router. Cool, so. Yep, just screws in. It's like coax, so you want to be careful to make sure it's lined up. You don't want to cross thread it or anything. You could bend the, uh, bend the, um, Middle barb, if you did. All right, let's see here. Cool. So there's that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting it set up now. Now we're going to um, configure this router. So I've got it hooked up um, to the internet through my modem, obviously, and then got it hooked up to my computer via. Uh, Ethernet cable. Uh, you could also do the server Wi-Fi. Um, the instructions for, that came with the router should tell you how to do it over Wi-Fi. There's a um, there's a uh, default SSID um, that's printed on the uh, Archer C9. If you wanted to do it over Wi-Fi, use that. Um, so first, we'll uh, visit HTTP colon Forward slash forward slash uh, TP link Wi Fi dot net. This is where you configure your um, what's 
what's the deal here? What did I leave out? Did I leave out tplink.net? Why did you not work? Um, dot net. Why are you from Google searching? That's bull. Okay, so I leave the HTTP off, apparently. Uh, the default is admin, um, admin password and username both. Um, you can log in that way. Uh, and then it looks like for some reason it's already working. Um, worked right out of the gate, which is interesting. Uh, but, okay. Let's see, quick setup, go to quick setup, United States, um, select your region, I am central time here, um, I'm going to auto detect, dynamic, ooh, <laughs> going to clone because um, my internet does not work that way. Going to leave both of my um, both of my bands open, the two four gigahertz and the five gigahertz both. Um, I'm going to rename my uh, networks and change the passwords personally. Okay now that you um, have selected your uh, network name and your password. Um, you can then click next. Just confirm all of the settings that you've made, um, which are not very many. Click save. And congratulations, blah, blah, blah. You can test the internet connection if you want. It'll say, yay, it's working, success. Um, click finish and you're all done. Your internet's up and going. Um, you can, uh, you can test it yourself on any website, um, but as you can see, it's up and going. Uh, test your Wi-Fi. Um, you can come here and set up your uh, remote printers and USB, which is one of the huge reasons why I got this um, router personally. So I will be setting up a FTP file sharing client um, via USB hard drive on the USB 3 port. I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, but yeah, and I'll also set up a printer as well. Um, you can set up guest networks if you want. Um, I have them turned off. They're turned off by default. Uh, wireless um, internet. So let's see. You can uh, adjust all the advanced settings on the internet if you wanted to. Um, you can go to advanced and get in really deep in this stuff. Um, this is where you could like turn off, uh, you know, your gigahertz and just a whole bunch of options within this. Um, a lot of which I don't even know what they do. Uh, you can set up parental controls. Um, you can set it up to where it, it throttles bandwidth on certain um, certain uh, devices that are going to be connecting to this and that kind of thing. So. If you wanted to throttle bandwidth on your, you know, teenage daughter that watches a lot of Netflix or something, you could set that up or whatever. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it. You're, you should be up and going now. Uh, test out your Wi-Fi networks. Uh, make sure they're working, and uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks, guys. Hope you enjoy.